The world record for a global circumnavigation in a sailing vessel is held by IDEX Sport, a 100-foot long, 74-foot wide trimaran with a time of just under 41 days. On their best day, they sailed 894 nautical miles at an average speed of 37.3 knots, and they also managed more than 10 consecutive 800-mile days. By comparison, the fastest monohull is 100-foot-long Comanche, which holds a 24-hour sailing record for monohulls at 618 nautical miles at an average speed of 25.75 knots. Both of these boats have similar length, professional crews, and use modern materials and construction techniques, but for some reason the trimaran is significantly faster, even though it is eight years older. But what is it about trimarans that makes them so much faster than monohulls? In order for any sailing vessel to move forward, something needs to prevent the sails from simply blowing the boat over with the lateral force of the wind. This is called writing moment, and a big part of the difference between the two types of boats. A monohull typically gets its writing moment from a lead weight that hangs from the bottom of the boat, which also requires the boat to have a reasonably wide beam to lever against to keep the boat upright. Instead of a lead weight, the trimaran uses flotation to achieve writing moment. As the leeward float, or ama, buries into the water, it's the weight of the boat itself that keeps the mast upright. A key difference with these two approaches is that the lead weight of the monohull only provides more writing moment as the boat heels over, but this also causes the sail to spill wind. At some point, the boat will achieve a balance point, but that's not when the mast is vertical where it catches the most wind. On the other hand, the trimaran has maximum writing moment with the boat being somewhat level and the mast almost vertical without spilling wind. In other words, the maximum writing moment of the trimaran more closely aligns with the optimum position of the sails to harness the wind. The trimaran also has several times more writing moment than the monohull. Now let's talk about hull shape. The monohull is somewhat wedge-shaped in order to complement the weight of the keel in keeping the boat upright, and in part to facilitate planing at higher wind speeds. Many of us have heard of the so-called hull speed, which is a function of the boat's length, and for a 100-foot monohull like Comanche, the hull speed would be 13.4 knots. Comanche can and does go much faster than this, but in order to do so, it has to get up on top of the water and plane like a water ski boat. Comanche is very wide, so has lots of writing moment, and planes very well. However, if you've ever ridden in a water ski boat, you know it takes quite a bit of power to transition from displacement to planing mode. On the other hand, the trimaran has very long skinny hulls, and in an interesting twist of physics, hulls that are more than eight times longer than they are wide can transition seamlessly through the so-called hull speed barrier without having to get up on a plane. They can also sustain very high speeds with very little energy. This is also why warships are typically very long and skinny. Skinny hulls also tend to pierce straight through waves, which is much more efficient than riding up on one side and slamming down on the other like a monohull. So that flat bottom that facilitates planing in the monohull ironically also exacerbates the slamming problem in waves, slowing the boat down in any kind of sea state. Finally, we know that the motion of the boat always drives the apparent wind forward as compared to the true wind. We also know that in very fast boats, the difference in true and apparent wind can be quite substantial and more than 90 degrees for very fast boats. But as the apparent wind moves forward, the boat also requires more riding moment to keep the mast upright. As the monohull accelerates, it begins to heel over in order to extract more riding moment from the keel, but this also causes the sails to spill wind. The trimaran, on the other hand, has maximum riding moment with the mast upright, and the long skinny, wave-piercing hulls just keep accelerating to ridiculous and sometimes frightening speeds. This is also why very few fast trimarans use spinnakers. Their speed drives the apparent wind so far forward that they are always sailing upwind. Watch this next video to see why.